What's up guys? Welcome to Meaty Glitch. My name is Cody. As you can tell, we are not in, I'm not in the studio. Um, I'm actually in my office and the reason for that is this video could not wait. I'm a huge Pokemon Go fan and they finally have come up with a gym update. Now I get it, some of you don't play this game anymore, but for those of you that do, this could be huge for us. Gyms are an aspect of the game that have been lacking uh, ever since release date. Um, and with this update, we will now have a gym feature that I think will bring a lot of joy to this game, bring more people back to this game, I think, and just make it an overall better experience. Now, gyms before uh, were these areas where trainers could come of the same team and load up a gym with up to 10 uh, for a level 10 gym and basically hold this gym while every day spinning for coins. And the object was other teams were supposed to come and battle these gyms. The problem were these gyms having 10 Pokemon, you could only bring six into the gym and it was just too difficult and took way too much time to bring down a gym. I'm talking hours upon hours sitting there trying to get this gym back down to nothing so you could load it up with your team's Pokemon. They've done away with a lot of that. Now gyms can only hold six Pokemon at one time. Uh, this great this helps make it so that you don't have six Pokemon taken into a battle and having to battle ten. It just got too crazy and basically you couldn't do it and you couldn't bring down the motivation of the gym fast enough. Now with it only being six, six versus six, there's a greater chance of you defeating it based on what you know about the Pokemon types and how you battle it. This is really going to help. Also, there can only be one type of Pokemon in the gym. Before you can load the gym with defending Pokemon like the Blissey or even like a Rhydon, you can load these gyms with these high CP Pokemon. Now, if there's a Blissey in there, you can only have one Blissey in that gym. Uh, if there's a Rhydon, you can only have one Rhydon. It keeps it so that it's more balanced and more realistic in a sense. It makes it so that these gyms will be a little bit easier to defeat. Also, you don't spin if you hold a gym. Um, after your Pokemon is defeated, it will return to you with coins uh, based on defeats it gets while being at that gym. So that's kind of cool. The other thing is now they've introduced this motivation factor within uh, gyms and your Pokemon. So basically your Pokemon, once he goes into a gym, will have full motivation. As over time and as it loses battles in gyms, it will lose its motivation. What does losing its motivation do? It lowers the CP of the Pokemon, making it that much easier to defeat the gym. So overall, you can't just throw in a Pokemon into a, a gym and expect that three weeks later you're going to have your Pokemon. It's going to lose all of its motivation and it's going to return to you unless someone feeds it a raspberry. That can be you or someone else on your team. Uh, feeding a raspberry will temporarily raise the motivation uh, on a Pokemon in the gym um, a finite amount. And this will help to ha help the gym get stronger and uh, stay as a gym for long. Uh, this is a really cool feature because we get a bunch of these raspberries and yes you can throw, use them on Pokemon uh, to capture but I find myself not using them too often unless it's a really hard Pokemon to capture so I'll have 70, 80 of these berries and so now to know I can go to a gym and help boost that gym up uh, is a really cool feature. The other thing that came with this update is raid boss battles. Uh, this is where a very powerful Pokemon will take over a gym completely. And you'll notice this because there will be an egg on the top of this gym. What this means is you need to prepare for a raid boss battle. And the only way you can participate is if you have a pass. You get a raid pass once a day from spinning the icon on top of the gym. That is new too to this update. Before, gyms were just for battling. Now you can spin the top and get items just like any other Pokestop, that's a really cool. Um, it's a good feature, I'm glad they added. But back to the raid boss system. So what's really cool about this is that uh, once the raid boss is active, 20 people, um, they're not specific on which, if they have to be team related, or if it's just the first 20 people that go there, they can take out, they can work to take out this boss. They'll have five minutes to take out this raid boss. Now you're saying, well, how powerful is this raid boss? 
Well, in the image they show, they show a Tyranitar with 27,000 CP. To put that in perspective, some of the highest CP you can get in the game is like 3,600 from a Dragonite or a Tyranitar. It is absolutely maddening how big. It's basically 10 times as powerful. And that's only if you have 10 fully leveled out, perfect IV Tyranitars would that equal 10. So you, it's good that they give you 20, but you'll have five minutes to defeat. Upon defeating that gym, that raid boss, you will gain uh, the ability to catch an extra powerful Pokemon. They don't go into specifics about that, but I just like the sound of that because who doesn't want extra powerful Pokemon? So you'll have a chance to catch that. Um, also, after defeating a gym, you'll get these things called rare candies. For those of you that played the game, you know what rare candies are. How do they apply in Pokemon Go? Well, you can give a rare candy to any Pokemon, and it will turn the, that rare candy into your Pokemon's type of candy. Help for evolving and powering them. That's really cool. Uh, it's a good feature I'm glad they brought into the game. Because it was such a big feature in the RPG game uh, for the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. So, great feature. Other thing you will receive is a Golden Raspberry. Now, a Golden Raspberry, they say, greatly increases your chances of catching a wild Pokemon. Which, to me, makes it seem like if you use one of these Golden Raspberries, you have almost a guarantee you're going to catch it. But also, they can be used to fully raise the motivation of a Pokemon in the gym. From however low to maxed out. That is huge because that gives it extra time, makes that gym back to more powerful, and allows you that team, your team, uh, to maintain that gym a little bit longer. So that's really cool. And the last thing, which to me is the best part that they've added, is after defeating a raid boss, you'll get TMs. TMs were technical machines in the role playing game. And basically, what you did here is you could change the move of a Pokemon. How does that apply in Pokemon Go? Well, you'll have fast charge, fast and charge TMs. Fast will allow you to uh, change the fast move and charge will allow you to change the charge move, uh, which is really great because uh, I, for instance, have a really powerful Gyarados. Really love it. Problem is it has the worst move set it could possibly have. So if I can go to a raid boss, defeat that raid boss, get a TM, use it on my Gyarados, I can make it have a better move set, make it even more powerful than it already is. So that is a really good feature. I'm glad they have because I hate when I have a really powerful Pokemon and it has literally the worst move set it could possibly have. This will allow me to make give it a better move set to help use it in the gym. It's just a great feature all around. Um, the last thing is, is people have heard they're the first Pokemon Go featured event is happening in Chicago and for those of you that think the game has died or nobody plays anymore they sold out in six minutes now you can also counter how many tickets were there I don't know how many tickets there were but I do know that some of them are being sold right now for thousand dollars which is absolutely ridiculous so clearly there's a buzz and an interest to this game uh, but I just want to throw that out there just for those of you that think, why am I even doing a video on Pokemon Go? But anyways, guys, uh, I hope you like this update. Uh, please subscribe to this channel because um, I want to take this mask off. Um, comment below, uh, do you play Pokemon Go? Do you not play Pokemon Go? What updates would you like in Pokemon Go? Does this update even interest you at all? Just let, just have a nice conversation down there below. Um, and also, hit a like button, hit that bell button so you can get uh, notified when the latest video is uploaded on this channel. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.